All right, well, I'm live here, and uh, it's about 1.16 p.m. Central Time. Sorry, Eastern Time. I'm so used to Central Time. I'm here at the U.S. Capitol. You can see it behind me. And let me flip this around. See the whole mall right there? All the way the, the Washington Monument, way down the Lincoln Memorial. And uh, just wanted to come on here again. I know I came on here earlier today to pray for our country, but I, would, I just want to do it again. And um, I know some will take the stance, you know, well, well, why, would you, why would you be at the Capitol? Uh, you know what? I, I, don't, I don't care who the president is. I love our country. I love the U.S. I'm thankful for this country, what it stands for, uh, stands for freedom. And it's found, our founding fathers built it on the principles of God's word. And so that's why I love our country. I love the USA. And I'm sure that, that, that you do too. You know, I, I just heard there was a, a tour guide uh, just going by. And the tour guide told the large group that he was uh, with, he said he, he named a very popular um, uh, singing star that said that they, the singing star renounced their U.S. citizenship and moved to Switzerland. And uh, you know what? <laughs> I, you know what? If they want to do that, go ahead. I will never renounce my U.S. citizenship regardless of what's going on in this country. And as the body of Christ as believers, get this, we, we have the greatest message on the face of the earth. And our message is not even though we love this country, our message is not, you know, how great the U.S. the U.S. is, even though it is. But our message is the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's the greatest message, and uh, that's what we can give to the world. That's what we can. That's what that's what the U.S. needs. The U.S. The United States of America needs the gospel and needs Jesus. And so uh, that's why I'm here. And I'm ministering uh, in, in Harper's Ferry, West Virginia, uh, this, this weekend. Sharon was not able to come. Uh, she's ministering this Sunday at Covenant Church. But I'm here and I'm enjoying it. And uh, so I want to pray for our country and just pray that God would move in a mighty way and, um, and do things that only he can do. You know, sometimes people think, can take the attitude of there's no hope for our country because I mentioned in an earlier video when I was at the Lincoln Memorial that during Lincoln's day there was a great e great evil that was set that had settled on the United States and it was slavery but the reality is is that there's great evils plural that have settled across uh, upon the US right now in our time and and the sum of it is basically the same as it was back in, you know, the day of Abraham Lincoln with slavery. And it's basically calling evil good and good evil. And calling wickedness, accepting wickedness as if it's good, and then calling righteousness evil and hatred. That is, that, that's wickedness. And so there's so much wickedness in our country, but... But we have the answer. Jesus, uh, Jesus is the answer. And the gospel, what he's, what he's accomplished for us, his death and resurrection, God's word. And uh, we have this to give to people. And it begins, in, it begins with prayer. Any move of God begins with prayer. And so we're believing, we're going to believe the Lord. And I, I just ask you that you would join together with me to pray for our country, pray for the body of Christ, pray for the church in, in, the, in the U.S. And as Paul said in his day, to pray for those in leadership. And I don't care what if you don't like the president, it doesn't matter. We're to pray for our leaders, and that doesn't mean that we accept everything that happened. Of course not. Just like Paul didn't accept what was going on, everything that was going on in the Roman Empire, but he... Ex but he was led by the Holy Spirit to pray. He said, pray, pray for leadership. And so, uh, you know what? Nothing is too hard for the Lord. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. In spite of all the great evils that, are, that have settled on this country, nothing is too hard 
for Jesus. Nothing is too hard for the power of the Holy Ghost. You know, the Holy Spirit can sweep through the White House. Uh, this is not the White House. Can sweep through the U.S. Capitol and can sweep through the White House as well. Can sweep through the Congress and the Senate. Can move in a mighty way and do things that we would never be able to do in our own power. And so we can pray and we ought to pray in that way for God to do what only he can do. And there's, you know, legislation is important. Policy, all of that is important. And, uh, you know, I've heard it said before many times, and maybe you have too, that you cannot legislate morality. Have you heard that before? I know I, I actually probably said that. You cannot legislate, legislate morality. Let me ask you this question, though. Can you legislate, can you legislate immorality? Can there be laws in our country that promote immorality? Well, the answer to that is yes. The answer to that is exactly yes. There are laws, there are policies that can promote immorality, biblical morality. And so on the flip side of it, there are policies that can promote good biblical morality. And so, uh, you know what? I don't know if things will ever change in that regard, you know, in our country. But, but I do know this, that the ark, the door, figuratively speaking, the door to the ark is still open. And so let's pray and let's believe the Lord for a mighty move of his spirit. And I'm going to, I'm not, well, I'm not going to try to flip it around now, but, uh, let me go ahead and again, show you the, the flip side of this. That's the, the mall, what's referred to as the mall. I absolutely love this area. Uh, I've only been here a few times, but I absolutely love it. And, um, and <clears throat> I love, again, I love our country. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we believe you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, that you are Jesus, you are Lord, and that will never change. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, that there's no politician. There's no one. There's no one. There's no star. There's no movie star. There's no singer. There's nobody. There's no, again, no politician, public figure that can dethrone you, Jesus. You are Lord over it all. We thank you today, and we proclaim that, Jesus, you are Lord. You're Lord over our lives. You're Lord over our church, churches, Lord. You are Lord. It's your church. And you said upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And Lord, we lift up our country right now. And Lord, we ask you for a mighty move of your Holy Spirit. We ask you, Lord, that you would move in, in the body of Christ. And, and Lord, bring us back to our first love. Lord, help us to repent of Lord turning from our first love. And Lord, help us to turn to you with all of our heart, Jesus. And God, we lift up this country. We pray for a wave of the Holy Spirit, God, to blow. God, a wind of the Holy Spirit to blow through this country, even blow through Washington, D.C., blow through, Lord, the White House, Lord, the Capitol, blow through Congress and the Senate. God, move in a mighty way. Lord, we thank you that there's no limit to what you can do. And we praise you right now. And we ask you, God, that there will be a wave of conviction that would blow through this place, O oh Lord. And a wave of your love, Lord, your holy love that would blow through this place. That people would truly know your love. Would truly know freedom that is found in you. And we thank you, Lord, for this country. We pray for it. We intercede for it. We plead your blood, Jesus, over this country. And God, we ask you, Lord, for a harvest of souls. We ask you, God, for boldness for the church again, that we would rise up in prayer and in preaching in the word, that God, even you would raise up, Father, even people, Lord, even in politics, that you would raise up those like Daniel in his day and Joseph. You would raise them up, Lord, to stand for righteousness. And Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you that you are Lord. And we proclaim that, Jesus. You are Lord and you'll never stop. You are the Savior. And we look to you today. And we say it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, let me, yeah, let me flip this around again and show you.
I mean, there we go. Just show you. Awesome place. All right, God bless you. Have a wonderful day in Jesus.